thing I know. But it was like I was there once, single parents, hate your appearance. Did you struggle to find your place in this world? And the pain spawns all the anger. Hello guys, how are you guys doing today? This is Andor here today bringing you guys another cartoon creepypasta. So I'm bringing you guys a cartoon creepypasta on the show on Cartoon Network called uh, Uncle Grandpa. is the lost episode of Pizza Steve's Revenge. It's on Wikia. It's on uh, Geoshia's Creepypasta Wiki. It's uh, pretty cool. I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading it to you guys. And I want you guys to tell me if you guys like it. And tell me what else you guys want to see in the comment section below. Tell me how your guys' day's going. I don't know. Make conversation with me. I always try to reply to everybody. And I know I never advertise it. But uh, be sure to follow my Twitter, my Instagram, my Facebook. Add me on Snapchat. Uh, any of that stuff. And um, I that's a way to talk to me if you guys want to talk to me. So with that said... We are going to go ahead and we are going to start reading this. So it says, you know how Cartoon Network has a weird way of counting Uncle Grandpa episodes? They refuse to count a couple of them, making the amount of episodes inconsistent. The reason for this is a lost episode from season one. Finding details about this missing episode is difficult. No one who was working on the show at the time likes to talk about it. From what has been pieced together, the lost episode was written entirely by Peter Browngard. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I might be wrong, but I'm just going to say Browngard. Okay. Um, during production of the first season, Peter started to act strangely. He was very quiet, seemed nervous and morbid. Mentioning this to anyone who was present results in them getting very angry and forbidding you to ever mention it to Peter. I first heard of it at an event where Peter Browngard was speaking. Someone in the crowd asked about the episode and Browngard simply left the stage, ending the presentation hours early. The episode's production number was 1019000A. The title was Pizza Steve's Revenge. The episode labeled 1019000A, Uncle Grandpa, which is the episode title was later made and given Pizza Steve's revenge production code to hide the, late, the latter's existence. In 2012, three months after the final episode of Uncle Grandpa was done, there was a reunion party for all employees of Cartoon Network. The president of Cartoon Network invited all employees to watch the first episode of Uncle Grandpa. As he opened his computer to view the video file, he saw the episode entitled Pizza Steve's Revenge. He thought it was a sequel to Uncle Grandpa, the pilot episode. So he clicked on the play button and went to make popcorn. Uncle Grandpa people, Pizza Steve's Revenge, 0120. Uncle Grandpa Pizza Steve's Revenge. The episode began with the impressive intro, but it played at lightning speed and stopped at the title card. The episode started off like any other episode, but had very poor quality animation. If you've seen the original animation for the pilot episode, it was similar but less stable. The first act was fairly normal, but the way the characters acted was a little off. Uncle Grandpa seemed angrier, Mr. Gus seemed depressed, Pizza Steve seemed to have genuine anger and hatred for Uncle Grandpa. It started with Uncle Grandpa and Pizza Steve. They were walking down a road while in the background weird moaning could be heard. It cuts to a close-up of Pizza Steve's color-inverted face with a knife in his hand and he stabs Uncle Grandpa in the stomach, causing him to fall down and limp with a blood trail following him. Uncle Grandpa became introverted as a newer reporter came over and said, Oh no, Pizza Steve, Pizza Steve. Then it cut to Pizza Steve killing people by throwing knives at them and killing them. Then it showed Uncle Grandpa and the people's ghost crying blood as Pizza Steve laughed in a loud voice, not like his usual voice. Then it said, then it said the end, and R.I.P. Uncle Grandpa. Then the episode ended with gibberish text and thanks for watching Uncle Grandpa and the Cartoon Network logo. When the video ended, the phone suddenly rang. When the president answered it, he heard Pizza Steve's voice saying, Don't come to the studio or you will be coming with me to hell. After he hung up, the president suddenly found that he was not alone. Pizza Steve was now right in front of him with a knife in his hand. Pizza Steve then threw the knife right at the president. At that moment, the president woke up. It had all been a horrible dream. However, the next day, he still told everyone to leave as Uncle Grandpa was now canceled. 
He had been muttering something about the last episode featuring the death of Uncle Grandpa and that it hadn't been done with a real corpse. Nothing else happened after that. All right, guys, so this is kind of like a little short creepypasta. Um, this is my second video this week, so I hope that lets you guys know I'm going to try to be a little bit more active. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you guys have, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, drop a like on this video, and also uh, share this video with your friends. It helps me, it helps, it helps the channel grow, and the more that my channel grows, the more I can put into it, and the more professional we can get going here. Um... As said, follow my Twitter, my add me on Facebook, uh, follow my Snapchat, uh, my kick I think is down there. So keep up with me on those things. If you guys try to talk to me, it's a lot easier to talk to me on those. And this has been Andal, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.